Hi everyone, Matt from Rental of Plumbing again. Today we're talking about a very common issue and that is a shower faucet repair. If you're going to change the shower cartridge on a Moen shower faucet, the first thing that you have to do, you have to shut the main water valve off to the house. There are no specific shutoff valves available for the shower faucet. So in case if you're trying to remove the cartridge without having the water off to the house or to the unit, you are going to cause a flood. Once you do so, the next thing is to drain the system. There's always water standing into the pipe. As long as you can open up a faucet, flush a toilet into the floor below, or anywhere lower than the shower faucet, even at the same level, so that will empty the pipe. So the tools that you need for this specific cartridge replacement is the actual replacement part, which on this specific one, it's called Moen shower cartridge. The number is 1222B. You can get the replacement part from plumbing suppliers. You can get them from Home Depot or any other major suppliers. As I say, these are on warranty and you should not end up paying no money for it. You always can request the replacement part from the manufacturer. So once you have this on hand, the next things you need, it's an Allen key. The Allen key is used to remove the set of screw from the handle, so you will be able to take the handle off. So, side of this, a multi screwdriver, which in this scenario case, you need Phillips screwdriver. And I do recommend you have a little nose plier, which is very useful in these situations. Now, these tools are specifically called cartridge removal tools, which you may not have it, but these are for plumber. And if you have one of these on hand, that make the job a lot easier. And if you don't, that's okay. You can still use a plier and remove the cartridge from the faucet. So I am going to use this, however, I am going to show you, if you don't have one of this, how to remove the cartridge safely. So, talking about the plier, yes, always handy. You gotta have one. So the first thing that you need is to use an Allen key and remove the handle. So there's a screw sitting into the handle and holding the handle into the cartridge. Again, the water is off, so there is no issue in here. So me, in, in a state of trying to remove the set screw from in here, since the water is off, I'm going to turn the handle upward, which make it easier to remove the set screw. And here we go, the screw is being removed. So removing the handle, keeping it on the side, and grabbing the screwdriver. Screwdriver, and loosing this screw, which is holding the stopper into the cartridge. So loosening this screw, again, you'll make sure that you're not going to lose this screw. And removing the stopper with a screw from the, uh, the sleeve. So we're going to remove the sleeve to access the pin, which is holding the cartridge in place. Over here, there's a pin, which is holding the cartridge onto the body. So we're going to gently remove the pin. Make sure you are not going to lose the pin either inside the wall or into the drain. For this scenario case, I am going to use a little nose plier, which would make the job very easy.
okay the pen is being removed and set aside now the next things we need the cartridge removal tools and the screwdriver again with these tools it's easy i'm going to set it up i'm going to tie the screw and i'm going to pull the cartridge out but in case if you don't have that then a plier would be very useful so all you have to do you get to try to hold into the cartridge and pull it straight straight do not twist do not bend this so you're going to end up breaking the cartridge so it may be a little bit more difficult but it is doable and the plier again that's as simple as this with the tools so the cartridge has been removed now you can place the newer cartridge inside the faucet you always check inside the body just to make sure there is no damage or there is no calcification happening inside the body if that is the case you can try to use a piece of a rag and clean up inside and remove all the dirt and debris that may set into the faucet so, this is very important so what is this it's a lubricant that make it a very smooth transition for you to place the cartridge back on the place so you definitely wanted to use this in case if you don't have one of this or it's not coming in the package you can use anything that provide a smooth transition for the cartridge to sit in the place this inside the body and over and also some on cartridge body there is riding on this on top and on the bottom so on the top hot and cold H and C so you always to make sure that the hot would stay on the left side and cold would stay on the right side so therefore the riding section should sit on the top so you're just going to put this in and then gently push it in simple as this yes you can use the same cartridge removal tools to push this back on the place but a lot of time no needed now we're going to place the pin back onto the faucet and make sure that the, car, the pin would sit properly otherwise it may cause a leak now it's time to test this and make sure it's not leaking so we're going to turn the water back on and give it a test Okay, we opened up the water and there is no leak happening. We did confirm that the water is on and if I turn the handle on, the water will flow. So our issue is solved. Now we're going to assemble the parts back together and fix the faucet. So next things would be the sleeve, which we're going to push it in. Now next, going to use the stoppers problem is solved our shower faucet is fixed and cartridge is being replaced don't forget about like and comment, share and subscribe. Do comment as below should you need our attention on any specific matters. Wrench it up plumbing and mechanical. We'll be glad to serve you in case if you have any plumbing issue. 416-800-5050.